IBS. <clears throat> Let's go with IBS. Uh, irritable bowel syndrome is a long-term condition of the gut that causes episodes of tummy cramps, blotting, diarrhea, constipation. All right. Uh, usually, you know, we remember it with the mnemonic as well, ABCRA. Uh, it could be uh, abdominal pain. And then B, these patients, they usually are uh, present with uh, bloating as well. C, you can say cramps or you can say constipation. But sometimes they present with uh, uh, diarrhea as well. All right. And also, you know, these patients, abdominal pain. And also you can say alternate bowel habits as well. Alternate bowel habits like constipation, diarrhea, constipation, diarrhea. It can be there. Now, uh, we just, we, uh, you know, alternate bowel habit, it's going towards direction of cancer as well. But in IBS, you may have that. You may have abdominal pain. You may have alternate bowel habits as well. But usually it's going to be with absence of cancer symptoms patient will be having absence of cancer symptoms. That is the main thing, right? So uh, remember ABC and absence of cancer symptoms. That is your IBS. One of the reasons could be stress, obviously. Let's go a bit more in detail. So abdominal pain, generalized abdominal pain, that's what patient can tell you. Nausea, vomiting, diarrhea or constipation, bloating, very important. Uh, rule out dehydration, obviously. Whenever you get a case where patient is having diarrhea rule out dehydration wherever in any case you see patient is losing blood it is bleeding pv is bleeding rectal bleeding from anywhere in the body make sure you rule out anemia right so why we have written here rule out dehydration maybe the presenting complaint of your patient is diarrhea okay or patient is having symptom of diarrhea okay now uh what are the things that i need to rule out IBS can be managed, but definitely we are looking for some red flags. Are we ruling out those red flags or not? Cancer symptoms, very, very important. So rule out, ask general sign symptoms of cancer. IBD, you can ask abdominal pain, bleeding, you can ask. And what else you can ask in IBD? You can ask for extra intestinal symptoms as well. Because IBD, it causes problem with your eyes. IBD, it causes problem with your skin as well. So maybe you can ask uh, uh, extra intestinal symptoms as well all right then celiac that's your malnutrition nothing like uh, diarrhea fatigue and maybe patient will tell you if i'm eating this particular food uh, like gluten then i'm having diarrhea so which is going to go towards the celiac so you need to rule out a couple of differentials to uh, uh to make sure we are coming to our diagnosis what can be the reason what's the risk factor risk factor is obviously the lifestyle smoking alcohol uh, caffeine and the stress that is really really important so these are the things that you definitely need to cover in this scenario all right obviously go for general physical examination we go for vitals we go for abdominal examination sometimes you see patient is presenting with the abdominal pain or coming with the constipation for example so you may you may have to do a digital rectal examination as well all right go with the full blood count go with the inflammatory markers and your main differential is celiac so you can go for celiac screening as well all right, and we can check for fecal calprotectin as well. So these are the main investigations that you need to do. IBS, what is the treatment? There is nothing. There is nothing that you can do, isn't it? You'll give some leaflets to the patient. Patient can read about it. Mainly the treatment is lifestyle. The treatment is lifestyle. So symptomatic treatment, patient has got diarrhea, we can give something for diarrhea. Usually in this country, patient has got diarrhea, we don't give uh, anything to stop it. Because if it's an infection, let it flow and let the infection go out from the body. But if it is too much, maybe you consider giving a... Uh, Lopramide. Constipation, obviously, we can go with the laxatives. And if the patient has got abdominal cramps, you can give something for that as well. All right. Main thing is lifestyle advices. Smoking, you have to advise on that. Alcohol, you need to advise on that. Uh, what kind of diet patient is having, you need to advise on a good diet as well. Caffeine intake, you need to advise on that. Patient is drinking lots of uh, fizzy drinks, you need to advise on that as well. So that will be your treatment plan. 
And uh, of course, sometimes, you know, the medications can be given as well. You know, amitriptyline, satlopram, that can be given, but uh, don't give it in the first place. Just mention the lifestyle thing. But later on, yes, these medications are given for the management as well. CBT uh, can be mentioned as well. And then, you know, just to tell the patient about the follow-up. That is really, really important. And you need to give the warning signs for cancer. You need to give the warning signs for maybe IBD as well to these patients. Okay. And in terms of IPS, obviously the same points that you need to uh, cover. Idea, concern, expectation. Always, always ask this. In this case, if you ask the patient about uh, idea, they might be thinking they are suffering from cancer. That might be their idea. That might be their concern. And they might be expecting the investigations for the same. Right. So be careful on that. Right. So check and check, summarize, acknowledge body language is very important please show it to the patient uh, this time eight minutes is dedicated to you so you will see how much marks how many marks you will get in the exam signposting very important make sure you are doing active listening leaflets definitely you can offer ibs is really 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 important topic uh, it's very common but uh, nothing much to worry because it's manageable but you need to rule out cancer for sure all right. So always when you are in the management, give the information in small, small chunks, chunks, chuck and check. Give the information in small, small chunks and check the understanding of the patient, whether they have understood it or not. All right. So that's your IBS. Mm -hmm.